Good morning from Animal Kingdom. I am right now rushing in because I'm actually meeting up with friends this morning for a dining reservation at Tusker House. So if you don't know, Tusker House is a sit down restaurant here at Animal Kingdom and it is a character dining experience. I'm going here with my same friends that I did the Garden Grill character dining experience with. So I feel like I'm getting all these character dining things in and I haven't done that in a while. So it's very fun. But I did this particular dining experience the last time that's here at Tusker House back in 2019 on a Disney trip. And it's really cute. All the characters are in like their Animal Kingdom themed safari attire. So it's gonna be great. You all know Animal Kingdom is like my favorite park. So I'm just in general happy to be here for the day. I also, when I was walking in, I was so excited. You can hear the music has switched over to the Christmas Animal Kingdom loop. Love that, absolutely love that. So yes, I am right now not pass and go, heading straight back to Tusker House because our reservation is like right now. But yeah, the line to get in, I had to wait a while to like park the car. It was absolutely crazy. I think it's because it's literally park just open. But yeah, that, and then there was just a line for, they needed more of the turnstiles open. Like it was crazy. But we are here. You can see they have the holiday garland. I'm also absolutely starving. So this is gonna be so good. I remember the food was incredible here last time. It's a buffet style. So with this one, unlike Garden Girl, that was like family style that they keep bringing you out the platters. This one is a proper buffet that you get to go up and like select and pick absolutely everything that you want, as much of it as you care to enjoy. So I am excited to see that. Like I actually, like, I woke up starving for some reason this morning. Like I am just so hungry. And that's always good when you're going to a buffet. So Tusker House is right here. As soon as you get into Africa, this is the bridge that then if you head down that way, it's the Festival of the Lion King theaters down there. And Tusker House is like literally tucked. Like they have signage for it, like pointing right here. This is like the check-in. Okay, we just came inside the restaurant. As you can see, the entire buffet, it just stretches all through here. And we're heading right now to our table. So the best thing, they bring you literally a craft of the Pog juice. Pog juice. This is the absolute best thing everybody knows. So it's the pine, I was right, it's passion. Orange juice guava, yes, the best. If you know, you know, this is a Disney staple. They have it at Ohana too, so, so good. They also just brought us out a bread basket that has some delicious looking pastries. And oh, look at the cake we got. Oh, that looks incredible. And then we asked for a coffee as well. The drinks are included with the price since it's a buffet. So we have coffee and they brought us out. I asked for some cream and they give you like the fresh creamer. So, so nice. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> he knows that we love it. We, we're like, yeah, we love the pog juice. Keep it coming. <laughs> I'm heading up to the buffet. I'm gonna do a sweep of the food, show everything, and then I'm gonna go grab a plate. And we're gonna just dig in. Also, if you would like to plan your visit here to Walt Disney World, please contact my preferred Disney travel agency, 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They can help you plan the perfect vacation, take all that stress of planning off of you, and you just get to show up, relax, and enjoy your vacation. You can get a free no obligation quote at 407vacations.com. So right here, they have some fresh fruit. Everything looks incredible. So you have your healthy start right here. We have a banana. I was actually craving a banana ever since the Run Disney event. And they talk so much about the importance of bananas. Like they're so good for you. Like I need to eat more bananas. Here they have where you can get milk and then they have cereal on tap. Right here we start to have like the carved meats. Oh, they have omelets here, cheese omelets. They got some sausage, ham. Also look at this, they have a hot syrup dispenser so you can get syrup, that's very nice. And here they have ketchup, there's bacon, you have just some scrambled eggs. There's this um, Mila Pap, I wanna say. We have waffles right here. Oh and I forgot, this location has the Simba waffles which that's adorable. Now let's see over here, this buffet just keeps going. They have, oh here's all the toppings. They have brown sugar, raisins, oats, cause oh here's oatmeal, that might make sense. Right here you can see they have like some more African inspired dishes. There's a salsa right here. They have potatoes. What is this right here? I am not sure how to pronounce this, but this looks very, very interesting. We have the potatoes down here. 
Ooh, bread pudding. Look at this. There's also a chicken curry right here, some rice. Oh, down here we have more of the simple waffles. And then we also have classic Mickey waffles right there. Some silver dollar pancakes. We also have, this is like the little station. So I guess this is like considered the kids, but I mean, it's just, you got some bacon sausage. Well, oh, they bring out the fresh bacon, bacon sausage, some tots. And here we go, the final stretch, guys. Are you sticking with me through all this? We got the black eyed peas salad. We have a watermelon feta salad right there. That looks good. Carrot and chickpea salad. So they have some different things, like some unique, like actually African influenced items, which I really like that they do that. They have yogurt parfait station right here. That looks so good. Oh, a honey Greek yogurt. Yeah, I'm gonna be coming back for that for sure. They just have some hard boiled eggs right there. And here we go, the last little bit, <laughs> what all do we got? We have, this is like your, you have your capers, tomatoes, you have some smoked salmon right there. You have your cream cheese, a strawberry cream cheese. Oh, this is all those good pastries right there. You have your jam compotes. Oh, danishes, look at this, incredible. The zebra coffee cake, that was, we had that in our little basket that the waiter brought out and that looks really, really good. So I'm gonna go set you all down and get a plate and we're gonna dive in to this meal. I am, like I said, I'm woke up hungry and that's the best way to be when you're going to a buffet. Here's plate number one. I am being kind of healthy. I got my banana and my orange. Yeah. But yeah, I have hidden under here. There's my um, cheese omelet, bacon. That's a Simba waffle, but I covered it in berry compote so you can't even tell. I got a Danish, I got some of those. That's the, um, what was it? It was some type of baked something. Then we have the zebra bread, my yogurt parfait. Daisy's our first character of the day. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta be on the lookout for all the animals out there. <laughs> Hi! How are you? You're here. <laughs> Did you go on safari this morning? No. You were making breakfast? That's what they put you to work. <laughs> oh, you were lookout? Oh, I, that's an important job. I would imagine. <laughs> Donald has spotted his love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she a little busy right now. <laughs> uh oh. breakfast that was so fun I feel like I'm starting to have a new appreciation that I never had for the character meals it's such a good way to like if you want to see the characters to not have to wait in a line not have to worry about getting any like lightning lane like anything like you just have that opportunity to have them come to you basically as you're enjoying your meal there's a really good like appeal to it also the food was so good so you have like the classic breakfast staples you have your eggs you have the omelets bacon, sausage, Mickey waffles, the Simba little waffles, but additionally with this one, you get like that African influence. You have that African cuisine as well. So I love that it was like such a mix then. You had something else that's a little bit more special and unique. So I love that you had that too. Like if you want something that's more of a unique dining experience, definitely covers all the bases. I'll insert too, they gave us a cute little card when we left that had like a picture of the characters on the front and all their signatures on the back. 
Also, a standout item for me, I know I talked about the yogurt parfait, I called it, which I have to correct myself, it was not a yogurt parfait. It was actually, when I bit into it, it was um, overnight oats, like a cold oatmeal dish. It was phenomenal. Like, I actually want to learn how to, like, create that and start doing that for, like, my breakfast in the mornings because that was so good. So, overall, it was an incredible experience. Characters were fun. Got some cute pictures. So, what more could you ask for in a Disney character breakfast? Okay, so now it seems like we actually we have some weather moving in. So, I don't know how long I'm going to stay around Animal Kingdom today. But, I do want to take just a quick little peruse around and see the Christmas decorations because... It is Christmas here at Animal Kingdom. Just even hearing the music that's changed over, it just makes me so, so happy. But isn't this adorable? I love the Animal Kingdom decorations. These are so pretty with the lights and the holly berries in there. These are so pretty. They have like the luminary lantern looking things with all the animals right here. I bet at night that looks so pretty like as the park is getting ready to close, you know, you get around that, like kind of around that dusk sunset time. I bet that's just gorgeous. I'm gonna pop inside the otter grotto and see if I can see any of the otters. They are always so entertaining to watch, especially when they're very active. It's so cute. I didn't see them at their up top exhibit. Let's look down here at the underwater viewing. I didn't spot any, but let's see what's up around this way. Maybe they're also a little afraid of the incoming storm. Mm. Yeah, I don't see them. Oh, you know who we can go see, who hopefully will not disappoint? We can see the shark. This is my fun little fact you can surprise your friends with. There is a shark in Animal Kingdom. It's actually, it's a shark catfish, but you know, close enough. This is literally like right before you would go up to the Starbucks. It's right down here. If you come over, you can spot. Holy, that's big! There he is. My lord. What is that? It's a catfish. It's a shark catfish. Actually, I'm heading back up here towards Africa, and they have some like really unique Christmas decorations that look like they're all handmade. Because it's all like bottle caps. We have like the have like the electrical wires and everything. One of the many reasons I just love Animal Kingdom so much, it's like that level of theming and detail. But look at it, it is a packed, packed day. This vlog is being filmed on, this is November 8th. And yeah, for whatever reason, it is just absolute craziness in here. And it's getting ready to rain. Oh my gosh, they actually have like all the way back down here, kind of like towards the entrance of Tusker House, they have, I believe that's the standby line for Kilimanjaro Safari. It is, if you're familiar with this park, it's like all the way over here, look at this, Kilimanjaro Safari line starts. The cast member's bringing the sign down. Wow. Lightning lane, you can head all the way up to the front. Oh my goodness. This is the safari line, is all backed up down here. That's insane. There's some more fun Christmas decorations. Look at those. Oh no, and the rain is starting to come down. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Do I try to get to the front of the park or should I walk around some more? I was gonna see Festival of the Lion King, but this is the standby line. It's completely wrapped down. Goes all the way down. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, I don't even see where the end of the line is. Oh, well, this is fun. Look who's coming. <laughs> they even have Christmas decorations on their pontoon boat. Oh my gosh, this line keeps going for the standby. I don't even know where it ends at. I still have not found the end of the standby line for Lion King. Oh, there it is. It's literally all the way down underneath this tunnel, heading into Pandora. I just heard the cast member say that, yeah, it's most likely none of those people are gonna get into the very next show. It's, it's probably at this point, she said, gonna be the show after that. So yeah, definitely not seeing that today. I just can't believe, like, I know it was a race weekend, but now it's, what's today? It's Tuesday after the race weekend. Usually those crowds have, like, gone home by this point. Usually they just come in for the weekend, but I don't know. Something has to be going on. It is a packed, packed day today. 
I'm in Pandora and I'm so curious. I want to see what the standby line is like for the rides here. Put it in the comments now. This is crazy across. What do you think Flight of Passage is going to be at right now? It's actually a backup for the Lightning Lane. This is so busy right now. But yeah, it's a 135 minute standby queue. And it's completely wrapped all the way back here. So yeah, that is definitely going to be 135, if not more. Because there's that backup in the Lightning Lane that they're going to have to get through. This land is just so pretty. I love just walking around this park that's the big thing that i like about animal kingdom is just getting to come over here and appreciate the attention to detail it's like that anywhere at disney but i feel like for here definitely there's so many little details like the christmas decorations alone is a perfect example of that how well thought out everything is okay we're coming up on this is now navi river journey 110 110 minute standby and it also looks like they have a lightning lane back up and that one can come to like a standstill in the line when that lightning lane is backed up if you watch my video i did where i was riding all the boat rides in walt disney world in celebration of my disney cruise you'll know that that was one that like did me in oh my gosh i waited so long for that and that standby queue just like feels like you are never getting anywhere okay so that rain cloud did pass over which is a good thing there might be a little bit more coming later so i'm gonna head out of the park before that but thankfully that little bit that was coming through seemed to move on pretty quickly it's a little light mist it wasn't even a sprinkle um but i did just meet up with some friends got to see them real quick hang out and now i'm gonna go ahead and head out of the park but this was such a nice just relaxing morning it's fun getting to do the tester house experience that i had not done in years like i said 2019 was the last time that i did it so super fun day always good to see friends and now i'm gonna go ahead and make my way please like this video leave me some comments all those things go a very far way in helping to support me and the channel and with that make today magical and i will see you soon in the next video bye guys